Mm, I really, really do love my practice page, and I think they look like um, like tulips, two-toned tulips. I was practicing how to do two-toned paintings, two-toned leaves and flowers, and this abstract tulip just appeared and I thought you know what I'm gonna share with you how I did it because it's so fun easy fast pretty and very attractive looking I think it makes the effect even though it's super easy and fast and simple to do so let's grab your paints let's grab some paper and brush uh, we will need our paints to be uh, our brush to be a very wet but as well uh, our paint paints to be wettish uh, two, as you can see, I have lots of water here on my pigment, and I'm using turquoise and purple. That's what I will uh, use. So not too much, but not too little, not too little, not too much, not too little. So I'm trying to make sure dab it in the pigment, the whole, the whole um, brush, and then a little bit, just one touch. I'm gonna try it and gently uh, touch it. Tip a tip a tip um on the on on the other end on the other um, edge of my of my brush, so that's what we have right now, kind of tulips, isn't it kind of tulip tulip looking which I find really really nice, I really like that, so I thought I'm gonna share with you how I did it because it's really nice, nice technique um and we add some stems as well and we will oh did you hear that yawn <laughs> that's my that's my Lucas he's around here but he's watching telly uh, he is actually watching telly with the earphones on how bad it's to have someone who records at home <laughs> Hannah is asleep Emily is back home and she's asleep uh, so yeah one more? Will I grab one more? So I'm dipping my brush. My brush is pretty big. If anyone will ask, I'll tell you. It's 16 millimeters, so 5 by 8. I can't say that in English. I don't know how to say Cotman, Windsor Newton brush, basically. Thicker brush. That's what I would say. <laughs> A little thicker brush for watercolors. So I'm dipping in the pigment right now and just a corner or oh, corner that's a good word a corner it is dipped in in the color of the other color oh there we go that's nice and i'm just placing that and lifting and you can you you can't tell now but i'm going to show you maybe here will be easier <coughs> to show you so i'm just lying down my bristles moving moving and lifting what, what I'm gonna turn it around and do it one more once more maybe maybe here so the bristles are on the floor not on the floor on the page and I'm moving and lifting up so something along those lines I'm gonna do it once again grab some more pigment more pigment of turquoise teal color and touch of purple on one edge on one end only hmm <laughs> two toned tulips that's what they look to me but again it's personal probably view how you see it okay so if this is finished I would say more or less. I'm not drawing that because I wish to um, I wish to be able to uh, add, add some stem and maybe the color from a stem here. I wish to maybe gently mix it with the tulip itself. Although most of it is dry so probably it won't work that much but that's okay. So I'm just gonna concentrate now on making my stems and I really wish this to be pretty much delicate oh Lucas is yawning again can you hear him I wonder <laughs> I wonder if you can hear him um okay something like that 
Are they looking like tulips or what? Or are they looking like something else? Huh. Hard to say, hard to tell, isn't it? But I think they're looking pretty good. So, as long as it's in our imagination something we totally love and like, that's fine. I think I'm gonna maybe... I wonder if I'll just... connect those somehow a little bit mm -hmm. oh, and that tells me that maybe I could actually do it again and connect some even more like here there we go mm -hmm. yeah something like that that will be nice Oh, and that's the mix I wanted to get so it will be probably better if you <laughs> if you will straight away work with your stems so that way you can have things joined together see uh, not joined together but you can have the paint going inside the petal uh, those are five from far from tulips isn't it <laughs> But maybe I will help them to look like tulips more. I don't know. I'll see. Mm, I like that. Very much uh, magical as usually. <laughs> An abstract looking. But that's okay. Two toned abstract flowers. Maybe that's what I should call them <laughs> instead of tulips. Two toned flowers, yeah, but two toned worked and it's beautiful technique, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, well, actually, I do you know what? I think I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm really scared that I will actually do something too much of it for it, so I'm gonna just get that uh, small brush to do some uh, leaves. Maybe I'm gonna actually can I do two toned leaves as well? Let me see. If that is even possible on that practice page, mm, well, you can, of course. Let's try and see what I can do. <laughs> yeah, something along those lines. <laughs> you can paint paint it inside or you can leave this not painted whatever it's easier for you mm -hmm. I guess yet again kind of however you like okay <laughs> I have a feeling that each petal, each, each, um, each, uh, ah, what's the word? Leaf looks different. <laughs> That's okay. That's really okay. That's really okay. So I press my bristles and I'm making sure, I hope I, I'll show you this time maybe, press, lift, press, lift, mm -hmm. so press and lift, press and lift, that looks good, that looks so yum yum. I'm so concentrated that it's so quiet, like, <laughs> I usually have so much to say. But you know what, I really love what I see and I really wish you to uh, find it inspirational to the point that you will literally leave everything that you're doing right now and grab your paints and just paint with me. So, because I wish you to see how easy that is, how <laughs> joyful that is and achievable for everyone 
I hope you can tell. How long I'm watercoloring now, I wonder. Is it a year or more now? Ah, oh, okay. I think I can I can like finish them them um leaves and things now. But I wonder should I do like this those little things or what? How 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 would it look nice? With few with two? Maybe with few. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. I'm gonna actually sit down so it will be easier for me to to be kind of more precise <laughs> this time. Um I don't know. I love what I see, so maybe I could actually leave it as it is. How is that? Would that be possible to leave it as it is? Because it is pretty. No. No, we need some more. Some more things. <laughs> Few. Yeah. <laughs> Those are so funny looking now, actually. Well, I like that. I like that. So tiny, tiny, tiny brush would help very much indeed, as you can tell. Very much helpful. Um, if you don't have a brush gen small like that, you can use uh, some pen. You know, some pens would make those kind of drawings for you. So you not necessarily have to use brush at all, actually. I'm gonna try to make some little dots, maybe. In there. Yeah, and I'm not trying to... Oh, that is so cute. That is so cute now. So cute. <laughs> To the own the abstract flower. Now guys, if you find this video inspirational and if you wish your friends to see it, please make sure to share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Now, uh, YouTube is changing loads of things uh, in the past months and one of those things is to hit, that you have to hit the um, bell button, a little bell picture, so that way you will receive all the notifications for all the videos so that's pretty important if you don't want to miss any of the videos uh, so yes please please do subscribe to my youtube channel which will make you, me very happy that way I know my content is something you love seeing and it's always helping to build the confidence in me that I'm going and doing the right thing with my channel and if this video is something that you enjoyed and you think it's inspirational, fun, maybe, <laughs> maybe I am fun to watch, then definitely share this with your friends and tell them about this video. Yes, I absolutely love it. But I still feel that it could be something else added to it. Can you believe it? I still feel it could be, some, it could be something else added. What about white splashes? Mm, white splashes that's one thing but we also could add dark splashes you know like like tiny tiny dark splashes as well uh, would be good let me see yeah exactly or we could do a little bit a little bit of doodling I have some white acrylics and I have this tool, <laughs> this tool, and I'm thinking to, um, I'll show you what I'm thinking. I'm thinking to add some white dots, like, like that. What do you think? Oh, yes. I love that. I really, really do. Mm-hmm. So, uh, 
I'm, I will kind of repeat myself yet again. Please grab your watercolors, cheap or expensive, it doesn't matter. Try your hand in watercolors. I know that so many, so many, so many of you started thanks to my uh, few beginner videos which I'm delighted to know. And thank you very much. But keep on painting, keep on practicing. Um, it's super, super fun. Uh, I hope I love watercolors, and I hope to paint more and more. I I did some videos recently, as you know, before I left for holidays with Emily. Two videos were with Emily. Um, but I would love more videos like that when we have kind of like a technique and interesting looking something. <laughs> I wonder if I can make splashes with this now, but hmm, oh, I could actually spray this a little bit. There we go. <laughs> ha ha ha! And now I can try to splash. There we go. See, possible. Actually, wouldn't that be just so nice if I could try and splash? with tiny amount of like a tealish hey there we go that's nice that is actually I don't want to mix my acrylics and my so <laughs> what a mixture Marta okay I think we can call this finished we can be proud of that Two-toned watercolor abstract painting. Oh, I should sign it. Many of you always say, Marta, you have to sign your pieces. So I will. My room is small art. Voila. Will I may say 2018? I will. There we go. So this is, this is it. This is it. A little bit different maybe to original I love how the original came up and uh, this is nice as well but this is more tulip this is not <laughs> that's okay so enjoy painting guys have fun painting make sure you will try that two-toned technique and please do share this video with your friends this will mean a world to me so thank you so much for your time I hope you enjoyed this short video and oh a little a little a little something a little creature. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that and I'll chat to you super soon. Happy painting. Bye bye. Bye.